Power isn't everything when it comes to cars, but it can be a lot of fun. So today I'm gonna to talk about 10 of some of the cheapest cars you can buy with over 400 brake horsepower. If you wanna see the same video again at over 500 brake horsepower, hit the like button, a thousand likes to make that video, and without further ado, let's get straight into it. <laughs> Let's get started with the Cadillac Escalade, a car you'll rarely find in the UK but with a ridiculous engine attached. A 6.2 litre V8 engine using 403 brake horsepower taking it to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds, not bad for a car of its size. This is actually the third gen Escalade and you'll only get it in left hand drive here in the UK given it was never actually officially exported to our market. It is absolutely huge, honestly there are bigger cars on our roads here but this thing would not be fun to drive down some of our tight country lanes or park at your local Tesco, you have to remember the roads are very different here to in the US, so buying one could be a bit of a lifestyle choice. Irrespective though, it's an insanely cool and luxurious car to see out on the roads here. These are only around £15,000 at the bottom end and of course it's quite a rare car so you may struggle to find any available regardless. Build quality has been questioned on these and the transmission has also caused some issues. Next up we have the Lexus LS600H, a proper luxury car that wafts along thanks to its 5 litre V8 engine with with hybrid electric power too, producing a combined 439 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 6.1 seconds. As a luxury car, the focus has to be on the interior, which features an insane speaker system, executive reclining seats in the rear in the long wheelbase model, and a few other fun bits. But even more fun, if you bought a JDM import of these, you might also get TV reception, onboard surveillance cameras for security, and some other Japan-only features. The interior can be very basic aesthetically, but I liken it to a more Volvo style interior which looks great but also looks very simple and minimalist in its stylings. These start at around £6,000, you'll find most listed at around the 10k mark from around 2008. Reliability is amazing on these but watch out for batteries perishing over extended periods. We're on to another cheap luxury car now and a car I personally think is very very cool, the VW Phaeton, specifically with the hallowed 6 litre W12 engine that makes 443 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 5.9 seconds. The Phaeton was built simply because VW's German colleagues like Mercedes and BMW started building cars that competed in the same markets as VW, like the small car class with the A class and 1 series. VW therefore built the Phaeton effectively out of spite as the perfect luxury car with no expense spared, hence the car sits on the same platform as the Bentley Continental GT and the Audi A8, which by the way could also fit into this video as a full size luxury car. These cost around 9 at the bottom end but they're incredibly rare so getting a hold of one can be quite tough. On reliability that W12 isn't actually too bad but maintenance can be quite difficult considering it's not a very well known engine to work on and parts aren't quite as common as smaller engine options. In the video I did on 300 brake horsepower cars I spoke about the KN but in this video we're talking about a step up to the KN Turbo with Turbo being one of the most sought after badges in all of Porsche's history. These come with a 4.5 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine that makes 450 brake brake horsepower, meaning 0-60 comes in 5.4 seconds. But the performance figures aren't all that made these special, the turbo came with a bunch of extra parts to make it work better off-roads. That's including a locking diff, height adjustable suspension and a low range mode to get it running well on difficult terrain. And of course, as I've mentioned before, never underestimate how important this car was for the Porsche brand we see today and for its insanely nice interior both for the age and the money. £5,000 is around the minimum you'll find these listed for and 10 k is around about where you'll find nicer examples starting from around 2006. If looked after, according to buyers guides, these can be quite reliable, but if neglected, they can be hell for your wallet, so do look for a good service history. The S-Type R was an incredible competitor to the German Fast Executive Saloons on release, mostly thanks to its insane 4.2 litre supercharged V8 engine that makes 400 brake horsepower, taking it to 60 in 5.3 seconds. This car wasn't actually that much more powerful than the standard S-Type with the same engine but with a modified pulley it gained 20 horsepower and a bunch of bits under the car that made it able to compete with the M5 and E55 AMG. Stay tuned for more on that. It was limited to 155 miles per hour but it could go faster with the right mapping and came with a bunch of tasteful aesthetic changes that make it look a touch more interesting than the standard car. They start at around £5,000 while ten grand is what I'd expect to spend for a decent 2006 model. Reliability wise that engine isn't bad but again it requires good maintenance to keep 
keep it running well longer term and they're known for ignition coil and further build quality issues outside of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have then do hit the like button and subscribe as well if you're new. A quick reminder, a thousand likes make the same video again at over 500 brake horsepower instead. And let me know in the comments down below, what is the most horsepower you've ever had in a car that you've driven? I drove a Turbo S 640 brake pretty aggressive how about you there are some m cars you can get with over 400 brake horsepower but i wanted to include the bmw 550i instead in this video simply because it's the newest cheap car i could find in this bracket it comes with a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged v8 engine that makes 401 brake horsepower taking it to 60 in 4.8 seconds this came from the sixth or f10 generation 5 series which came in both saloon and estate versions as well as the gran turismo four-door coupe spec 2 personally the estate gets me going the most but either way you're getting a car with proper modern tech to make it practical for us as consumers like rear wheel steering lcd instrument cluster automatic parking and all the rest which is the key benefit of going for the newest car on the list these run you around 14,000 pounds the bottom end and most hit it around the 17k mark for a 2011 model with decent mileage build quality issues are known and in the worst case scenario some owners have suffered with head gasket or valve failures the Chrysler 300C SRT8 is the most aggressive version of the 300C you can get, a proper muscle car that also sits within the executive car class to take on its European and Japanese competitors. It comes with a massive Hemi 6.1 litre V8 engine which makes 425 brake horsepower taking it to 60 in 4.8 seconds. This car is an old school muscle car through and through in that yes it has all sorts of power and performance but it's been questioned many times for its inability to turn a corner well. It competes with cars like the M5 and E55 as well, same as the Jag, but in reality those cars handle and perform in a much more predictable way. Either way though, if you like power and straight line performance in a brutish but surprisingly good looking American package that was considered the poor man's Bentley on release, this is the car for you. Interestingly, these cars start at around £17,000 which is more expensive than a Continental GT, while 20 grand is what I'd expect to pay now for a low mileage 2008 model. Build quality has been hugely questioned on these particularly with rattles on the interior and water pumps have also been known to fail. On to the top three now and in third we have the Maserati Quattroport AS which comes with a 4.7 litre Ferrari V8 engine producing 433 brake horsepower taking it to 60 in 4.5 seconds. This is the fifth generation Quattroport and both the interior and exterior are designed by Pininfarina and more importantly Ken Okayama, the same man that designed legendary cars like the Ferrari Enzo and the 599 GTB amongst a bunch of other Ferraris. This 4.7 litre engine came with the 2008 facelift of the car which was the same engine used in the Gran Turismo S as well as other cars from Ferrari like the 458 and a couple of others. The interior is stunning on these the build quality of it has been questioned at times. Personally though I put this alongside the Gran Turismo as an incredibly good value for money Italian exotic car that may come with quite high maintenance costs if not looked after properly. £15,000 get you into one of these and you'll get nice examples from around 2009 for the 17k mark. There are quite a few Audis that could fit into this list but I'm going to talk about the first gen RS6 in this video thanks to its 4.2 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine which makes 443 brake horsepower taking it to 60 in 4.5 seconds matching the Quattroporte. You can get this as both a saloon and estate with the estate being the most famous version of the car and the one that kicked off the incredible phenomenon that is the RS6 event today following on from the RS2 that started it all. That engine was built alongside Cosworth which is always a good sign for performance and the interior is built to be a mixture of sporty and luxurious in line with the fast estates that were starting to take over the market at the time. These are only around £7,500 at the bottom end and double that is around where most sit from around 2005. There are known leaks from the seals, pipes and cam cover gaskets and off the back of this turbo failure is known. On top of this some owners have complained about engine mounts breaking which is never good. Taking the top spot in this video we have the Mercedes E55 AMG a properly cool saloon or estate which comes with a 5.4 litre supercharged V8 engine which makes 469 brake horsepower the most on this list which you get to 60 in 4.5 seconds same as the previous two cars. This came from the third generation E-Class and like the Audi it came as both a saloon and estate with the latter being the rarer example and also in my opinion the cooler one. But on release it only came as a saloon which was the single fastest production saloon in the world pretty insane stats plus it came with airmatic suspension that enabled to be pretty 
actually luxurious alongside that performance which also comes with insanely huge 8 piston calipers on the front as well as the sails as this was the best selling AMG all the way until the first C63 came along. These are listed anywhere from around the 10k mark and most nice models are available for just under the 20k mark from around 2005. Superchargers, air suspension, braking system, intercoolers, alternators and crankshaft positioning sensors are the main things to look out for on these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then do hit the like button and subscribe as well if you're new. Huge thanks to the patrons and to you guys as well for all of your support. And for a video on cheap cars with more than 300 brake horsepower, click up here and subscribe down here.